The profit and loss statement, or P&L for short, is a statement that shows all earned revenue and incurred expense items for a particular period of time. Publicly listed companies usually prepare their financial statements for a quarter or a fiscal year. We prepare financial statements monthly at Treehouse. The P&L is the same thing as the income statement. It's just called different things in different markets, as are some of the line items on the financial statements. So here we are looking at Apple's P&L, or as they call it, a consolidated statements of operations. Typically, when you're looking at a P&L, you'll see the revenue section at the top. Sometimes P&Ls will show sales or turnover instead of revenue. They are basically the same thing. Some industries favor certain terms over others. So revenue is the first line item you see on a P&L. And this is why revenue is sometimes referred to as the, quote, top line. Metrics related to revenue may be called, quote, top line metrics. Revenue represents the amount of money you have earned from your activities during this period. Note, I didn't say the amount of revenue or money you have collected. It's the amount of revenue you have earned. Apple is reporting their fiscal year 2018 financials. At the top of the columns on the right, we can see that Apple's fiscal year ends in September, or at the end of what is typically Q3 in the calendar year. A company doesn't have to have the reporting schedule on the same cycle as the calendar year. There are some articles providing further information on that in the teacher's notes. Back to the P&L. You can see that Apple reports a figure known as net sales. Net sales is different than gross sales. The difference can again vary by company, but usually the difference has to do with refunds, discounts, returns, and breakage. So net is after some item has been subtracted and gross is before that happens. Maybe this is personally relatable. Your gross income is your income before any taxes have been withheld. Net income is after those taxes have been removed. This gross and net distinction shows up in many places in accounting and actually leads us nicely into our next video about cost of goods sold and gross profit.